We are uh, really happy to have started well in advance and uh, to be pioneering something that we are sure all the industry will come. According to the IMO, the International Maritime Organization, yachting accounts for just 0.22% of the total greenhouse emissions emitted by the entire shipping sector. But our dependence on fossil fuels is coming under increasing scrutiny. On the one hand, owners are more attentive to the need for sustainable solutions, while on the other, the IMO is pushing for net zero by 2050. This video takes a look at how San Lorenzo is tackling the question of carbon neutrality head-on, with its first yacht to feature a methanol fuel cell. The groundbreaking 50 steel is inbuilt here at its super yacht facility in La Spezia and due to launch next summer. The first idea I had uh, to start this adventure was beginning of 2021, uh, talking with the customer. This customer was uh, asking me many questions about uh, battery, and uh, we all know that battery is a limit of the recharging. And so, in order to sell the boat to the guy, you know, I am a sales guy, so we have to invent something, and we say, well, the only alternative is uh, the fuel cell, because uh, with the fuel cell, you produce the electricity to charge the battery from hydrogen and oxygen. And then I said, why we don't study something special for boating? We understood that uh, at that time, the only possibility was to solve the problem of the artillery. Could not be a proportion, because the amount of a kilowatt was too much. And I said, look, let me study the situation and come back. We studied the situation of 25 customers using boat above 50 meters, and we found that uh, they use the proportion of the boat 10 to 50 percent of the time. 85 to 90 percent of the time is hotellerie. We cannot have uh, hydrogen on board of a 50 meter. The only solution is to use the green methanol with the reformer to transform the green methanol to hydrogen and then to use the hydrogen for the, the fuel cell. And now we have uh, this project uh, going and we will launch the first boat uh, by April, May of 2024. The boat will be used for the summer by me. I was not in comfort to sell the first boat to a customer. It is really a pioneering system and therefore we think that it is uh, wise to test the equipment inside of the company. Despite San Lorenzo's accumulated knowledge and experience, they decided wisely not to go it alone with the 50 Steel, and they've partnered with some of the top players in the field of renewable energy and e-fuels, most notably with Siemens Energy for the integration of the fuel cell with the yacht's more conventional onboard systems. With San Lorenzo, we have developed a really compact design for 100 kilowatt fuel cell based on 20 module, 5 kilowatt each. The fuel cell is based on a high temperature fuel cell that is basically bringing high efficiency, less fuel consumption, and also increasing fuel fixability. That is an important element for the reliability of the system. So the fuel cell system that uh, we developed is an integral part of a complete energy management system that is an hybrid propulsion, you have batteries, lithium batteries, and then we have the fuel cell design. Those integrated energy management system is allowing uh, to reduce emission and secondly also to uh, increase the flexibility during the, the cruising modes. It means if you go uh, in, the, in the anchor, then you can use fuel cells uh, together with the batteries. If you are going outside and uh, you go cruising, then uh, you can use the normal uh, traditional propulsion system that is generating electricity as well feeding the batteries. So it's a really integrated system and the fuel cell that is mainly used for the hotelleries is, uh, is the one that is really allowing the complete net zero emissions. Pioneering new pathways brings with it an element of risk. 
Alternative fuels present challenges in terms of storage, availability and energy density. And you also have to anticipate emerging solutions ahead of time. After all, you don't want to get halfway through a project like the 50 Steel and find out you're backing the wrong horse. That means that the technology has to be paired with feasibility and reliability. And that's the job of San Lorenzo's R&D department. Methanol is uh, the most promising uh, uh, alternative to diesel fuel because it uh, has a unique characteristic uh, respect to all other alternative fuel to diesel one. Uh, have high energy density, uh, for example, two to four times more than hydrogen, liquid or compressed. It's safe for human beings uh, compared to ammonia that is toxic, that is lethal if uh, inhaled in a small quantity. And uh, it's also available everywhere in the world with uh, uh, 100 ports that uh, already have uh, methanol. New technology on yachts inevitably means new regulations and certifications, which usually lag behind the innovations themselves. San Lorenzo is working very closely with Lloyd's Register in this regard, and recently received formal approval from the Class Society for the fuel cell system aboard the 50 Steel. What we carried out as Lois Register to support San Lorenzo was a complete risk-based analysis of the methanol installation and fuel cell on board, with particular attention to the methanol containment tank, which in this case, San Lorenzo decided to go for a type C tank. A type C tank is a, is a tank designed to avoid and to limit the crack propagation. Since uh, there will be uh, no risk of uh, cracking and explosion of the tank during the life cycle, and this has also allowed San Lorenzo to optimize the spaces on board, reducing the hazardous areas around the Type C tank. Limited interior volume on yachts is a constraint when it comes to adopting new fuel technologies. For example, it takes around twice the methanol by weight to produce the same energy as diesel fuel. Its flash point at 12 degrees centigrade is also way below the ambient temperature of a yacht, so care has to be taken to avoid exposure to the air and to ignition sources. Nevertheless, I'm quite surprised at how little space the fuel cell system takes up. Right now, we're in the forward tender garage, and you can see quite clearly here the footprint where the methanol tank will be, and next to that is the methanol reformer, or cracker, which breaks down the methanol to extract the hydrogen, which is used by the fuel cells to produce electricity. And by the way, behind this bulkhead is the owner suite, but the fuel cell system is pretty much contained within this area, which still leaves plenty of room for the tender garage, which is pretty big, and you can see that because this shell door here is around eight meters long. The 50 Steel Hybrid is just the start of a strategy that will see San Lorenzo deliver a fully carbon neutral yacht within the next decade. Its sister company, Blue Game, is already developing the BGH, the hydrogen powered chase boat for the America's Cup. And Volvo Penta will provide a propulsion system that works in combination with a fuel cell on board the BGM 65 hydrogen hybrid, another Blue Game multi hull set to launch in 2026. Thanks to the engine manufacturer investment in research and development, we will be able between 28 and 29 to have uh, the first yachts uh, with the, the B fuel engine, which is a goal to reduce to 70 80 percent the, the use of diesel by using the green methanol. By 2030, probably we will have uh, the dual fuel engine, which is uh, uh, even increasing the reduction to 90-95%, which is really fantastic. But still you have the advantage if you have a problem of uh, finding uh, the green methanol in the harbor, you still have the advantage you can use the boat with the fuel. The engine manufacturers are coming with uh, 
a 100% uh, carbon neutral engine, only methanol, by 2030. At that time, the problem would be what would be the situation of the logistic, of the distribution of the green methanol, and following how the green methanol will be distributed in the world, the customer will decide to go for that or not. We tend to think of hydrogen as a fuel of the future, don't we? But in actual fact, it's already here, and there are many examples in industrial and transport applications where hydrogen fuel cells are in use and proving effective. But perhaps the long-term issue is less technical and more ethical. All alternative fuels, methanol included, are less energy dense than their fossil equivalents, which perhaps implies that we should be aiming to reduce all our onboard energy demands, whether for hotel needs or propulsion, if we want to keep pushing ahead with a greener agenda. In the last two years, the climate change was such that people really were shocked to a point that now everybody's thinking, talking about it. So we are uh, really happy to have started well in advance and uh, to be pioneering something that we are sure all the industry will come. Uh, we like the idea to, to have pushed the industry towards a certain direction and we hope that everything will be functioning and well and uh, a success.